and I tell you what, I don't want to have in a couple of years' time to take any grandchildren of mine down and they ask me, what does it take? And I have to look up a history book or show them something in a history Google page to show what TAFE is. We want TAFE here for the future. 48% in real per student terms. If the funding per student had been maintained in real terms from 1997 to 2010, there would be an additional $980 million in TAFE. Now you know what that means. You know exactly what that means in terms of your jobs over that period. But you also know what the 800 jobs uh, that the O'Farrell government wants to cut out of TAFE will mean. You know what it means. It means that TAFE is running on your goodwill. It's a simple, old-fashioned game of exploitation. They know that you're committed to your students. They know that you're committed to the society you serve. And therefore, governments of both political persuasions have been able to get you to continue to work in increasingly difficult conditions. <coughs> Excuse me. Pay that has not kept pace with, it, with uh, equivalent pay in the industries you come from and workloads that have grown, in fact, in this college alone from 2007, workloads which have effectively trebled uh, since 2007. A mass, and you know what that means for yourselves, you know what that means for your families. And you therefore know what it means to take even more jobs out of TAFE. But you also know, because you are at the cutting edge of it, that TAFE is facing the ultimate challenge, the challenge of privatisation, the challenge of handing over the activities of TAFE to the private sector. I've been briefed on what SEEK is doing here and on the extraordinary amount of money that SEEK is making out of your hard work. Money that disappears, federal money and state money, that disappears out of the public provider into the hands of a private corporation. I'm here to tell you from the Greens that we will not tolerate privatisation and we will not tolerate further budget cuts. The O'Farrell government thinks it can get away with cutting TAFE because it thinks that TAFE is not important in the eyes of the public. So we have a mission ahead of us, all of us. Teachers, the public sector unions, the Greens, everybody who cares about TAFE has a mission ahead of us. And that mission is to make sure that the conversations at every dinner table, the conversations in every pub, the conversations in every household goes to the issue of TAFE and goes to the issue of what this means for the future of New South Wales. What kind of a, that's nice, what kind of a state do we want to hand on to our children? Do we really want to take an institution which was central not just to our economic success but also to our social cohesion? An institution which gave people the opportunity, people from disadvantaged backgrounds, people from impoverished backgrounds, people from working class backgrounds, the opportunity to participate socially, culturally and economically in the life of our society. Do we want to take that institution and destroy it, vandalise it, hand it over to the private sector, sacrifice its fundings to the rating agencies, which by the way, have brought Europe and the United States to their knees financially. Do we want to do that or do we want a society where that kind of institution is venerated and supported and funded? We say that the funding of TAFE needs to go back to the 1997 per student level adjusted for inflation. We say that the funding of private providers has to come to an end. We say that the dodgy privatisation deals like SEEK need to be exposed and need to be ended. Because it is public provision, it is public provision of skills, it is public provision of skills that provides education and provides a safe and, sec and secure economic future for New South Wales. The O'Farrell government was elected on a promise to fix New South Wales. Well, I'll tell you, they're fixing New South Wales right now. They are destroying it. They are pulling it apart on the basis of dodgy financial advice, dodgy economic advice. We need to stop that. We need to stop the funding cuts. We need to stop the privatisation. We need to stop the growth of private providers in the competitive market, the so-called competitive market that's going to be created from midway through next year.
It is a hard task ahead of us to tell people that TAFE is crucial and central to the future of New South Wales and it's being destroyed. But it is an essential task. It is essential not just for your jobs and not just for your students, but it is essential for the future of this society and for its success in a modern and difficult world. This century is going to be difficult. It's going to throw up all sorts of social and economic challenges, climate challenges, challenges based on an ageing community, challenges based on, based on a community where we all live longer, challenges based on a community where survival will become increasingly difficult. There is one element that will make us survive and prosper through that century, and that is education and training. And where you put the two together, we get an even stronger society. This is our opportunity to protect TAFE. This is our last opportunity to protect TAFE. We are now looking down the awful, awful prospect of a future where TAFE is nothing but a brand name and a series of buildings. Parliament sits again one week from today, and I tell you that our key focus is going to be on the O'Farrell government's cuts to TAFE and schools. We will not let any member of Parliament walk away without understanding this is a key issue, this is a challenge to the O'Farrell government. Live up to your election promise, dump the cuts, dump the privatisation and save TAFE. Thank you very much indeed. Sharon Usher, your new TAFE organiser from the Teachers Federation. Sorry, Sharon. I mean, everything John said we know to be true. I mean, we need to protect public education in this state. We know how important TAFE is. We can see it disappearing before our eyes. We have to, and it's our responsibility, to get out there and have those conversations. Whether it's at the football field in two weeks' time and sign up, whether it's at the netball courts, whether it's down at the shops having coffee, have those conversations. Let people know what this state is doing to TAFE and how important it is. Everybody loves TAFE in this state. We don't have to sell that concept. They know how important it is. You only have to ask people. They know someone who's been to TAFE or they've been to TAFE themselves. TAFE is essential to our community. And I tell you what, I don't want to have in a couple of years time to take any grandchildren of mine down and they ask me, what's TAFE? And I have to look up a history book or show them something in a history Google page to show what TAFE is. We want TAFE here for the future. We need TAFE here for the future. So let's get out and have those conversations with everybody. Tell them what's happening. We know the reviews are hurting us in TAFE. It's just another excuse to cut jobs. We know the EBA is another reason to attack TAFE teachers as well. Your federation and union is standing strong against TAFE cuts. We will not have the TAFE cuts happening as long as we have breath in our body. We will not have them undermine the professionalism of teachers in the TAFE system. We are fighting this and we will fight it as long as it takes. We need to save TAFE. We know that. Let's get out and make sure everybody else in this community knows that. Go and meet with your state and federal politicians and tell them that you think TAFE is important. It's important enough for you to walk with your vote. You want my vote? You say.